Hey everybody, today I'm going to be reviewing the book Please Look After Mom by Kyung Suk Shin. Apologies if I pronounced that wrong. This book is a really amazing book in my opinion. I loved this book. I actually found this in the bookstore. I picked it up because I was intrigued by the look of it. I really liked just how pretty it is. and. The title also intrigued me. I'm a very visual person, so those kind of things really do draw me in. And the title, the fact that the title just, Please Look After Mom, is just an interesting, it just made me want to know why are we looking after mom? What's going on with mom? And so I just opened it up and looked at the first page and read a little bit at the first page. And the very first thing you read is, it's been one week since mom went missing. And I was like, oh, she's missing. Okay, so already I'm like, okay, what happened? Why'd she get, go missing? And so I continued to read like three or four pages in the store and thought, you know what, I think I'll probably like this. And AJ actually was like, if you get it, I'll probably read it too, so you should get it. And I'm like, okay. So I ended up getting it and I'm so glad that we have it now. He has not yet read this. Um, he's got a lot of books that he's anticipating reading, so I don't know when he will read this, but as soon as he does, I'll be really excited to see what he thinks about it because it is one that I'm just really glad that I read. So this book is split up into four sections and then there is an epilogue. And the sections, each one of them is told in a perspective of somebody that knew mom, whether it's her husband or her children. And each one is actually set in a different point of view. So the very first part that we read about, it's in the second person, I believe is what it is called, where it is saying, your eldest brother, you decide, you can do this, your brother. And so, it is speaking in that perspective for the whole first section. And then the second section changes into a different perspective where it's um, in the third person, I believe. One of them's in the first person, and I think there's two that it actually is in the second person. So it goes back and forth, and the way I actually wasn't sure if I was gonna like that um, at first, because I'd never read anything like that before. But I, it actually was really easy to get used to, and I ended up really liking it. So right away, we learned that mom is missing. She got separated from dad, from father, at a subway station when they were going to meet up with their children. And they are in the middle of the search when we first start reading. They've already started planning how they're going to find her because they've still not found her. And throughout the whole thing, you're just learning about the perspectives of the kids and the father. And this is how we learn about mom. And so we're learning through mom through their eyes. And it goes through memories and flashbacks and things like that to discover more about mom. And I really liked the way that it was done. It wasn't like you were in the present and all of a sudden you were in the past, like just a, a huge different shift. It blends together very well. You're able to know if it's in the past or in the present. You're, it's more like reminiscing, I guess, about the memories that each character has had with mom and realizing that some of the characters are realizing that they didn't know mom very well after all. They didn't know mom as well as they thought they did. And so it's just this huge journey between the characters trying to figure out where mom went. So normally I do not rate books. I'm, I've said before on this channel that I don't like to give ratings. However, I am going to rate this book because of how much I absolutely loved it that I know I have, like I am able to give it a star rating. A lot of times I have a hard time with star ratings because I just can't pinpoint how exactly how much I liked it or how exactly I didn't like it. And so it's easier for me to just say I liked it or I didn't. And when something hits me emotionally really hard or when something is portrayed, portrayed in a way that makes me just smile the whole time or is in a way that I know I'm definitely gonna wanna read this book again. It was good enough and worth my time to read that I would give it more time again to read it again. That's how I f give my five stars. So this book, I gave a five star. I gave it a five star because 
I was constantly intrigued on learning more about mom through these characters, through the family. I wanted, it was an easy, it was a, not like an easy read, but it was a read that flowed well enough to where there wasn't any spots that I got stuck on. I was able to just go through it pretty smoothly and be engaged the whole time. Also, I finished this book um, actually while I was taking a bath. I like reading in the bath and so I was doing that as I was finishing this book and oh, I got to the last page and all of a sudden I was like, oh my gosh, I started feeling it and I got super emotional and by the time I read the last sentence I was crying, like not just like tearing up, but I was bawling. Like this is the first time that this has ever happened to me while reading a book. I can tear up to movies pretty easily, um, or cr lately I've been crying a lot more when I've been watching movies, but with books it's different for me. I don't normally cry when I'm reading a book, and this book just hit me so hard out of the blue, I did not expect it to hit me like that, and here I am bawling in the bath, like so embarrassing. I just... I was like, this book is incredible, like, if I didn't believe it before, I believed it now, I believed it then. Um, so it's 100% a 5 star for me, by even just that reason alone, like, it was so worth reading to feel the way that it made me feel at the end. I was like, man, this is such a good story. So if you are interested in something, you, you need something to read next after you're finished with your current book, then I would suggest looking up Please Look After Mom by Hyung Suk Shin and let me know what you think about it. I'd be interested to see if you feel the same way as, as I did or if you have different opinions of it. I'd love to hear those too um, and see if we have some similarities in our opinions or if we got a totally different feeling from it. But I definitely recommend it. I think it's totally worth reading. Five stars, like, and it's hard for me to give those. So <laughs> if that means anything, totally read this book and let me know how it is. So until next time, I will see you in the next one. Bye.